Rare candies are an elite tier item in Pokemon, and in today's video I'll be showing you where to find every single rare candy on Pokemon Emerald. So in Pokemon Emerald there are a total of 15 rare candies and I'll be showing you where to find each one today. So for the first rare candy head to Dewford Island and then use Surf to go onto Route 108. Then surf to the right along the lower part of the route until you come across a female trainer with red hair and a small rock on some land you can walk on. Hit A on this rock and you'll get a rare candy. Next rare candy is at the Trick House. The Trick House can be found north of Slateport City on Route 110. The Trick House isn't particularly difficult. Enter the house and press A on the flash of light when you walk in. Speak to the Trick Master and then head into the first room. There are a bunch of battles which are very easy and some small trees to break down. You will need to get to each typewriter to unlock the scroll at the end and when you do speak to the Trick Master for a reward. The first room which is the trees, he will give you a rare candy. On Route 111, if you head to the centre of it and then over to the right there is a rock and if you hit A on that rock you will get a rare candy. On Route 119 near the Weather Institution, head north on the water using Surf. Then use waterfall to go up the waterfall, then immediately to the left go onto the land and then use the acro bike to get across some beams. To do a jump on the acro bike, press B and the direction on the d-pad you want to do the jump. Make your way around the beams and then you'll see a pokeball with a rare candy inside. On route 120, which is to the right of Fortree City, there are two small trees to cut down. Cut them down and then go to the end of the path, take one step back and then look back to the left and press A you will find an invisible rare candy. Also on route 120, further along down the route, head up these small stairs and then you surf on the small lake of water. Surf over to the land and then in a pokeball will be a full hill and then over to the left there will be an invisible rare candy for you to get. At the summit of Mount Pyre, head to where the old people are always stood at the back and then turn right. In the back corner is a very small patch of grass and on a piece of grass right in the corner you can find a rare candy. Going straight from our last rare candy at Mount Pyre to the next, exit Mount Pyre south and then go on to route 123 and surf south until you reach land. Then make a right turn and then use cut to get rid of this tree and then take the lower path of the three and walk all the way to the end, take one step back and then look to the right and you'll find a hidden rare candy. In the new area of the Safari Zone once you've defeated the Elite Foreign Champion you can find new Pokemon as well as a rare candy. Head to the very top far right corner of this new area and on this small different shade of grass you can find an invisible rare candy. Route 127 is south of Mosh Deep City and heading south on this route on the left hand side you'll see a small island with some trees and two trainers. Between these trainers is a pokeball and in that pokeball is a rare candy. From Pacific Town head left to Route 132 then choose the middle water current. This will take you to a small surfable area which you'll then want to choose the option straight ahead of you. This will now take you to another small surfable area which there will be a small island with a pokeball on and in there will be a rare candy. The next rare candy is in the Shoal Cave and you'll need there to be a high tide for this one. Head inside and surf to the back of the first room then head through the hole in the wall. Then you surf once more to loop prone to the right and get off at a small section. Then head down and you surf once more at the bottom. Go left and immediately onto land at the end of the path is a pokeball with a rare candy inside. In the team magma hideout you can use strength on these boulders to get past them and then loop round to the right and head back down again. Then go out the exit, follow the path round, going down all the stairs until you reach another hole in the wall. In this room head all the way to the right and then up the stairs and out this next exit. Now follow this path round to the left you'll see a pokeball at the end of the path and inside will be a rare candy. In Granite Cave on Duford Island, head down into the cave and use Flash to help see where you're going. There is a mudslide to get up so we need to use a Mac bike and these rare candies will be a little bit tricky as there are broken floor tiles you'll need to ride over. If you stop on the broken floor tile you will fall through so you need to do this in one run as demonstrated here. Once you made it across the floor cracks, head down the ladder and there'll be a pokeball with a rare candy inside. Finally in Petterburg City, head to the small pond and use Surf. Head south on it and you'll see a small piece of land to get back onto and then without moving press A and you'll find an invisible rare candy. That is where to find all the rare candies on Pokemon Emerald. If you're new around here then I upload simple Pokemon guides for all different Pokemon games so be sure to check them out. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.